Rob Bahari, I don't know if you know. Have you seen the Rob Bahari thing that he wrote last night? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, it was like basically a, a series of tweets. And I read them and it's just like, man, you, you hit it. It, was, it, was, it, was, it had to do with Miro, essentially. But he didn't mention Miro. But it's the whole idea of, you know, brought up, you know, Christian Cage and Booker T in, in TNA, right? Where, you know, or Kevin Nash. He didn't mention Kevin Nash, but Kevin would be another one. Where they're there. And they're there waiting for the phone call to, to go back. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, um, and you can tell, you can tell they're just, uh, they don't, they they don't take this seriously. They're very different than they would be in WWE. You know what I mean? And, and in AEW, you know, I mean, we've seen it with certain guys um, who, you know, and punk, honest to God, you know what I mean? And, and, and it kind of disappointed me in a way. And I don't want to get into punk, but, but punk was certainly one of them where it's like, you could see that, that they considered the other guys the big time and not where they were. And when you have that attitude, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just different. Whereas Jericho and Moxley, you know, even though again, and Jericho's got great relationships with WWE and he could, he could have gone back. No problem. Moxley could too, but you know, Moxley really doesn't want to. I mean, Moxley's kind of a different character, but you know, um, and and Danielson will be interesting, you know, what 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 decision he makes next. But but Danielson and Moxley and Jericho, what they have in common that so many of the WWE people have, and this would include Sasha, is that they worked all over the world. And in the case of Moxley and Danielson more than Jericho, they didn't see WWE as this this dream thing. They wanted to be pro wrestlers. And they, you know, their idea of pro wrestlers is what they started pro wrestling doing, running around the indies. You know what I mean? It's like when where they would go to Brian Danielson, it's like, you know, oh, you've never, you know, isn't this great? You know, you know, you've you never experienced anything like this. He goes, I said the Tokyo Dome. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> I have. Yeah. But 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 where some of these other guys, you know what I mean? It's like it's like they only know WWE. And when it's not, um, you know, I mean, it's 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 like these guys and you know Miro and 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 like Malachi Black. I mean, these guys were just losing and losing and losing and losing in WWE, right? And then in in AEW, you know, Andrade, another one, you know, losing and losing and losing. They come to AEW, and you know they're not, um, you know what I mean? It's like they're winning and winning and winning. They're rarely losing, but somehow you know they um, they you know want to go back or I don't I don't understand. Miro wants to go back because he's never actually said it. Andrade, we know wants to go back. Black wanted to go back. I'm, I'm not, you know, he may be very happy now. I don't know what he is now, but, but obviously he wanted to, um, buddy Matthews, another one. It's like, it was also not treated well in WWE. And it's like, it's this big kind of thing of, of how, um, he wrote like if, um, uh, Bianca Belair and remember that Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch match at, at, I think it was SummerSlam where Becky Lynch beat her in like 26 seconds. And it was absolutely the stupidest booking. Becky Lynch didn't want to do it. Bianca didn't say anything, you know, as far as I know. But it's like everybody thought it was like stupid booking. But Vince insisted on it, right? And, you know, they bring up to Bianca Bell. Oh, I still had my moment. I was on this big stage. And it's like if Bianca Belair all of a sudden did something, ended up being let go by WWE, you know what I mean? For whatever reason, goes to AEW and someone suggests her doing the exact tony books the exact her the exact same way she's going to be sitting there going and and, and probably not doing it and again I, and bianca Belair is a fig, figure of speech i'm not saying oh bianca won't do a job in AEW. i have no idea what she would do or not do but i do see that the people who are in wwe that go there you know danielson again being the exception jericho being the exception pack being you know an exception you know in some ways but pack was never a big star in wwe um but they they really, I think they think I, I I it's just an interesting mentality. You have to read it. And but isn't that why WWE recruits who they recruit? They don't want folks who, uh, you know, are are a little bit more like Danielson and Mox, right? Because then they can just start them with that mentality from day one, knowing that no matter what, if you reach the top with us or if you make it to the main roster, that's the that's the biggest place you could ever get. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and again, we see it when, when, when they cut people who have promise and vow to get, go back, and then we never see them or hear from them again because, you know, um, they, you know what I mean? Because they think if it's not WWE, it's not, it's not, um, 
it's not worth their time, I suppose, whatever. But, um, you know, he, he did a really interesting thread and it just hit the nail right on the head on, on everything about there's that, you know, and again, it's, it's a generation growing up where this is the major league and, you know, it's the big thing that, that TNA could never overcome. And Tony obviously did much better than TNA at this, um, because he does have guys, you know, that, that are ex WWE guys who absolutely, you know, are not phoning it in or not, um, you know what I mean? Not uh, wanting to work with these guys or not respecting, like these guys respect some of the guys. Um, but even then, you know, it's like, um, you know, there's still the, the, the thought of, you know, like e even everyone there will, will, I don't want to say, I mean, people second guess Vince's booking too, but if Tony booked as bad as Vince, which is one of the funniest parts of the whole thing, you know, is, was, is, is Whatever you think of Tony's booking, it kills what Vince did the last how many years? Five years, eight years. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying it beats Triple H. I'm not saying it doesn't. You can argue that one, but it kills Vince. Vince's booking has been shit for years. And even so, nobody will say that. It's like, oh my God, you know, Vince has just lost it completely. And he did. He really did. You know, and, I, and the fact that the company got so much better or, you know, um, when he left tells you that. And the fact that, everyone's happier that he left tells you that. And the fact that, you know, all these people want to go back tells you that deep down they know it, but you would never have people go, Oh God, clueless guy doesn't know the business or anything like that. Um, and Tony will get that for, for, for anything, even though he's been successful for years, you know, for this last three couple of years, um, you know, you're, you're, you're going to have that because of the idea that it's WWE and, um, you know, you, you're, you're just like, you're, you're taught that you're lucky to be there. And with AEW, it's like, oh, you know, I'm, am I lucky to be here? No, I'm just, I'm here for a job and hopefully they'll call me, you know, and I can go back. And it's like, that's the whole thing of, of, with, with the Sasha thing. It's like, is she going to be one of those people? And I, and I don't know, everyone's different. Like I said, AEW's had great success stories with Pac and with, um, John Moxley, especially, and, and Danielson, obviously, and Jericho. I mean, those guys, great success stories, totally positive. But then you've had so many of these other ones who you come in and they come in and like they're happy. And, um, you know, after a while, you know, you, um, you know, they, I don't, you know, they're, they're not willing to do what the other guys are willing to do. And they, you know, it's just a different, it's just a different mentality. And I don't know, like, the one thing that Tony needs to do is be far, far more careful. The, the the ones who seem to work out are the ones who work lots and lots of indies. Like if it was Kevin Owens, okay, and Kevin Owens, you know, like again, his contract was due last year and and, and everything, and and he, you know, he wasn't close minded about going to AEW. You know, he he would have gone, but they didn't make the big play for him, and Vince did, so he stayed, and he's doing great, and that's that's great for him, right? But um, if he had gone to AEW. My gut says that that he would have done great in AEW because, you know, it's it's you know, I think that your your first experience in wrestling and what you did kind of becomes very formative. Whether it's the first territory that you followed closely, or for these guys, whether it's Owens and Zayn, where they worked the PWGs and they worked all these indies, and this is the wrestling they know. And it's like, yes, I make way way more in WWE, and you learn you learn things in WWE, of course, but your mentality also is not WWE or bust. If I'm not in WWE, I'm a failure. WWE is the place to be. It just, ha you know what I mean? Whereas these other people who only know WWE never worked that aspect of wrestling, you know, years and years for, for no money or for limited money or even making a living and all this, but not making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and, and being happy doing it, you know, being really, really happy and loving that experience when they're in WWE, there's parts of what is in WWE that, that can't match that happiness that they had in other places. So they're not as afraid to lead, to lose WWE and they're not, and they're not stuck in the mentality. It's WWE or bust. And I don't know where Sasha fits. There's a long way of saying all this. I don't know where Sasha fits, but I know that the, what I have seen, you know, from experience from the last couple of years is that the guys who worked a lot, a lot, a lot of Indies and worked a lot, a lot of Japan and things like that, they can go to, to AEW and 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 not have that mentality and the guys who didn't do that uh, they don't seem to have that mentality nearly as much 
at Rob Viper, by the way, if you want to check out the tweet from Thursday evening. Yeah, it's a series of tweets, and he hit the nail. I read it, and it's like, dude, you hit the nail right on the head. You know, it's like, I've kind of thought that and said that, but he said it perfectly. And he knows lots and lots of wrestlers. And, and and um, you know, I mean, he's the expert on, he knows all the luchadors. And so he knows where they're, you know, all of those guys, he knows where they're coming from. And he knows the, you know, I think he could tell the ones, you know, I think privately he could have told you ahead of time. I don't, well, I could have too, but the guys that were luchadors that went to um, AEW and the ones that, that are going to be very successful and very valuable to the promotion and the ones who won't be. I mean, he knows what they are. He, I don't know if he'll say the names and I know who they are too, but um, time will play out on, on, on all of them. You know, I mean, some of them are going to be big successes and some of them are not. And haven't been. The WWE legendary joke book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. <laughs> Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> you said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon. <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, like, puppy you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.